catch and release. A lot of hesitation with some of the defensemen getting the puck in the offensive zone and finding that puck, catch those shooting leads and get it on net. So tonight, let's watch them quick to the net with that puck. There, a centering pass, looking to draw a penalty. But he's back up and on the bench and ready to go for the next shift. Approach the four minute mark, deep in the zone, off the shoulder. Elvis unable to control that bouncing puck. And the Predators send it home. Elvis talking to the official, and Nashville is on the board first. The puck is funneled in that area, and as it is, they just go to work. Great save by Elvis, and you can see he can't find it, and as he gets pushed, he, he goes right away and says, hey, I got pushed. I can't do my job because right there, my pad got pushed, and the puck did not get pushed in. We've seen that before where that puck is on the pad, and the pad and the puck get pushed in, pushed in the net, but right there. Race is top defenseman. Breaks it up there at the line, carries across into the Columbus zone, looking in front. Sherwood got a shot away off the pad. The Jackets gather it up, and they move up ice. Niederreier comes in high on the Jackets forward. Actually, that was defenseman Wierenski. A centering pass up high, a wrist shot. Knocked down in front, rebound, scores. The long reach of Ryan Johansson after the initial stop by Merzlikens, and it's 2-0 Predator. This is Niederreiter. You can see he doesn't like his options in the front. And as Ryan Johansson's standing there, the puck gets there, but it goes at the top to Ekholm first. Impressive play here by Ryan Johansson to stick with this. Find it on his backhand. Really in tight. See how he stays in it. He knows Elvis is in a tough position, but boy, that is a tough angle to put that shot in on your backhand. Cody Glass looks for it in the corner. He's got it. Penalty is over. One shot again. Oh, this one is deflected and turned aside from point blank range. They're 0 for 10. Now across the line. Yossi fires and scores. Elvis would like to have that one back. It's 3 0 Nashville. Well, the player in question is right by the Nashville Predators bench. After the coach's challenge, the play was determined to be offside prior to the goal. Therefore, we have no goal. Chuck one up for Dan Singleton. I thought you got me scheduled for all kinds of visits, having played there yourself. Here, Gavrikov, Jenner. Lankinen moves laterally to make the stop. With another chance, which we hope they'll get. Incidentally, we talk about Chinikov. And here, Lankinen sends it high with that goal stick. There, the Jackets had it. Somehow, that puck stayed out of the net. Lankinen. Here come the Jackets. Danforth fights through the check. He's drawing a penalty. Moving in. Delayed call in front and it's swept away so the Jackets are going to go back to the power play here Johnson across the line Kent Johnson waiting seconds of the power play here's B hanging on moves in fires scores power play goal the Jackets are on the board Jake B they cut the deficit to one and he gets an opportunity on the second unit and that power play is expiring as he get this puck, he's not rushing it, but he's not stuffing into the pads of the defenders either. He picks his spot. Goes high. It's almost like a little Warinsky flick of the wrist right there. And as he does, it's top shelf. Past Kevin Lankinen. Zone cleared by Trennan. Deep in Columbus territory and a big hit there. Much to the light of the crowd from Got Branson, but the long shot. Elvis never saw it. It goes high over his shoulder. And just like that, the Predators have restored a two-goal lead. Trennan with the goal. They go to work, and it's first down puck. Now, Branson gets caught up in this battle. You can see he throws that back, that check from behind. And he just stays on him. And as he's staying on him, that puck comes through traffic. And you can tell by Merzlikens' reaction. He has no idea where that comes from. It's on the wall. Elvis doesn't even, even know where the puck is at that point. Now, build some momentum. Blankenberg with a steal. A breakaway. Moving in. Scores! Johnny Goodroll. What a pass by Blankenberg. And the Jackets are back to within one. Ha! Comes on the ice from the blind change and hit
hits Johnny Gaudreau. Here's the play by Johnny, top shelf. But as Andrew Peake came off the box on the penalty kill, Blankenberg, Blankenberg. Across the line, crowd looking for a penalty to be called. Jackets break it up. Kent Johnson moving in. Johnson holds on, fires a no-look shot, and Lankin had got the stick on it. Big guns come out, first power play unit. Jenner wins the drop, good roll, denied. Lankin, it comes out of the blue paint, cuts the angle, makes the save, and hangs on. Lankin is out there strong, cut down the angle. Jackets win the draw again, here's Wierenski. Good row. Jenner in front, look for the tip. Lankin and out of the net. Lankin and hustles back. An impressive play by the Blue Jackets offensively. To try to set up the young kid. 13th career game for Johnson. Now across the line. Walking in. Scores! The Jackets have tied it up! And there, Justin Danforth walks in and beats Lankin in. It's 3-3. Beautiful play through the middle. And that's that little tap pass from Chinnikov. And you can see Danforth. He's going to try to pull Lankin in one way to his forehand. And as he does, he puts it against the grain. Gets Lankin to move him with him, then says, forget it, I'm going back. Lankenberg sends it in front. Predators failed to clear. Voracek hustles to that puck. Less than 90 seconds left. Blankenberg scores! What a pass by Voracek! He knows Jake Voracek is looking for him. He starts scooting down the back door, and it's a delicate pass to Blankenberg. Everything he does is hard, and right there, it's a hard celebration. Puts that puck against the grain over that pad. He picked this spot. You can see Lankin in was thinking that puck was going high, but he completely guessed wrong. And then the Blue Jackets find their footing. And from there, it's been on. Final minute. The row of the empty net is second, and that will ice it for the Blue Jackets. Nyquist, a non selfish play, hands it to Goodrow, and the Jackets, four unanswered goals here in the third. Patrick Lighting is going to be back in that spot when he's healthy. But Gus Nyquist is just, he gets it all the way around. He's just, but the fight in this team, they just don't go away. Boy, that's a great identity to have. Six of their first seven games against playoff teams from a year ago. The Jackets storm from behind. Win this one. Five